Uh, man up there on the far right, on the gangway. You, sir. Can the um, panel members please tell me, do you intend to raise VAT? Because okay. I, I understand the UK have one of the lowest levels of VAT in the European community. All right, it's a straight question. Do you intend to raise VAT, Liam Fox? No. Nope. Does that mean you won't? It means that we don't plan to raise VAT. That was the question. Uh, <laughs> but, all right. Do you, mean, do you mean when you say, do you plan to re raise VAT, the questioner, do you mean yeah. now or not never? Now. Now. Yes, if they get into... If you get government. in. No, our plan, we don't have any plans to raise VAT. However, given the state of... However, given, it would be dishonest to say that you can rule any tax rise out given the state of the public finances. We have no plans to raise VAT. However, you can't rule anything out completely given that we owe nearly a trillion pounds in debt. And let me tell you what that number equals. And people don't understand the size, I think, of the debt. The size of the debt we now have is the equivalent of borrowing 1.1 million pounds every single day since the birth of Christ. That's how much money this I country already, now owes. So I already gave all those statistics. OK, uh, you ca uh, no, Vince, think... Vince Cable, in, in your policies, do you rule out an increase in VAT? No, we don't rule it out. OK. Uh, we think that we should deal with this through spending discipline, but of course you can't rule it out. We've been in government 13 years and we've never raised VAT. Our plans add up without a rise in VAT. Past Conservative governments have raised VAT within weeks of coming in. Question Their is, plans do you rule it out? out. The question look, is, do you rule it out? Look, um, our plans add up without a rise in VAT. Liam's plans will only add we up with a rise in VAT. We can absolutely rule it out. The Liberals can Jeffrey absolutely Howell, rule it out. Do you think, rule it out? I think Jeffrey that Howell gentleman should prepare for a rise in VAT. I think what I've heard. <laughs> do you, do you, sorry, let's be very clear, Ed Balls, insofar as you know, because you're not Chancellor, and I see you're very low down on the list of people preferred as Chancellor, according to the public <laughs> opinion. Um, but, um, <laughs> That's not a low blow. Um, <laughs> uh, but, but, but and are you above me or below me? Uh, I, I'm not in the. I'm not right. in the. In, in, uh, even at the starting gate, for Chancellor. Do you? Would does your party rule out an increase in VAT, or would your answer be similar to the others? Well, it's not in our plans, but who knows? No, um, we've not said we have no plans. We've said our what plans don't need it. Listen, the Chancellor said very clearly that he can never, as Chancellor, rule out anything for future budgets. But I um, say, in 13 years, we've never done it. The Conservatives have, al have always done it within weeks of being elected, oh. and that's what will happen you again. The all right. The woman that's there in the third again. row from the back. I just wonder whether you think we're all ignorant and whether you really think that little of us, that you just can't answer questions. We have a right... Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, Teflon Dave, nothing, you know, nothing sticks. He doesn't actually answer anything, despite constant questions. Yeah. Ed Balls, you're just as bad. You constantly say, I hear you, but, or however. Well, just answer the questions, because you're just making a mockery of the whole system. What about him? Well, to be fair... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I have to say, <laughs> my overriding kind of opinion of tonight and the debate was that what we saw was we were so busy focusing on David Cameron and Gordon Brown bickering at each other that suddenly there's Nick Clegg in the middle and we forget to actually put him under as much scrutiny as the other two. Well, and what is it, sorry, since you were so passionate about it, what is it you feel you're not being told? The whole lot, basically. I mean, we've asked directly, you know, where are the, where's the rest of this money coming from? Will you have a, an increase in VAT? And you can't get a straight answer. It's, it's right. as though you're treating us like we're ignorant. And at, you work for us. We pay for you. You're here to represent us. <laughs> just, just make a point. That's exactly what I wanted to say. I believe both David Cameron and Gordon Brown, they're misleading I mean, with, with, uh, people with their... I mean, almost every single policy on immigration, economy, tuition fees, which wasn't discussed. I, for example, David I mean, Cameron talks about a, a nonsense, let's say, you know, cap for immigrants. And uh, they, Gordon Brown, I mean, the leader of your party, for example, says that we will send the immigrants more than 40,000. I mean, we will cut the number of overseas by 40,000. I'm 000. going to stop you because uh, we're going to come to immigrants in just a moment. Oh, and no, I can see you've got uh, plenty to say no, about I it. I just want to talk no. about the economy, too. For well, example, stick I mean, with the economy just for a moment. Oh, OK. So, with regard to the economy, tuition fee is, for example, what the economy. I mean, what do, for example, we lose if it 
indiscriminately turn away 40,000 more non-EU for students, aside from okay. massive income and global talent for the sake of okay. Thank you very much. votes. Uh, all right. You know. and, and you, sir, on the, on the gangway there. Yes, um, the politicians stood up and said today, we're here, we need to make tough decisions. All I heard was punish the people who have least to start with. Why is it there is only one party, for example, which is talking seriously about long-term about stopping long-term investment, for example, in nuclear weapons. There are big things like that that I would happily say, let's cut those before we cut benefits yeah. for people who have the least to start with. I'll take one more point, you sir, in the check show. I don't think uh, Liam Fox is being honest about uh, uh, tax cuts this year. Um, at the Tory party conference, they were talking about really swinging cuts. And when they found that the polls didn't like that, they then toned it down. But rest assured, if you get into power, you'll put massive cuts on this country. OK. And uh, I think we... Actually, let's go on. Thank you. We'll, we'll...